Hi guys, Todd here. Today is Sunday. It's my day of rest. Um, well, it's not really. I'm usually out here doing reviews on a Sunday. Uh, I'm just... Where are all my batteries going? Come to daddy. There we go. Sorry about that. Right. Uh, to start, this is not going to be um, a review. It's not going to be a tutorial. It's not going to be... This is me chilling out on a Sunday and I thought that I would come out into the shed and discuss something. And that thing that I'm going to discuss is, is, is my little old passion for these things. Now, it's no secret that I love squonking. Uh, at squonking, and we'll get this out of the way if you don't know, uh, squonking, you have a little bottle of juice, you have a rebuildable atomizer. Uh, when you run out of juice in there, you don't drip. Squeeze the bottle, pushes juice up into the rebuildable atomizer, and you vape away again. Brilliant. Uh, and what's great is that these really some, seem to be coming back and fashionable again, if you like. Um, <sighs> <laughs> I'm not even going to get into prices, I'm not going to get into all I will say to you about everything I'm discussing here. These uh, boxes are made by a guy called P. Debbie, Peter uh, Debbie. If you want to know more about pricing and all that kind of thing, go along to the ECF forum, uh, the Electronic Cigarette Forum and do a search for P. Dibby, uh, P. D. I. B. P. Dib. I keep saying P. Dibby because I call this a Dibby. Uh, but anyway. So the first one I bought, uh, which was this, and I've got a 454 on it just now, Squonker. And it's bone dry. Um, so we'll have a little look in here. Now, I didn't really know about these. Uh, I wasn't on ECF following the forum or anything like that. And then one day on my own forum, this guy posted an example of his work. And I oh, just kind of... Oh. Um, so I just kind of left it. You know, I didn't say anything else about it or whatnot. And then uh, I went on to ECF and I signed up on the list and whatnot and my team came up and this was built uh, for me. Price wise I'm not going to tell you because my wife might be watching. Um, there we go starting to heat up now. Um, now, I, I do like my squonkers. I have uh, another squonker. This is, I've got it's another squonker. That's by Lake Mods. Really like that one as well. Um, but I'm going to talk about my dibbies here. Because I've done a review for this, but I'm not reviewing the dibbies. Uh, or the dibby. Um, or the something. If you go along to the, the ECF thread, it's a strange place. It really is. I don't know whether it's called the Dibby, the Dib, the something, S-U-M-P-I-N. Um, it, it just seems to change names as the days go by. And you just, it's a little community. It's, it's, it's <laughs> the nice guys. It's just, but you're, you are, when you buy one of these, you are getting into a little community of folk, and 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 that's one of the nice things. You know, and there's there's so many communities based around mods and mod makers. Uh, some of them, you know, become serious fanboys, and uh, you know, if you say anything bad about them, they'll come out and burn your house down. Um, which is fair enough. We all have our own little things. The other thing about this video is there'll be no edits. There'll be no. Uh, I'll stop, pause, um, ah. Uh. So if you don't like me, if you don't like the way I speak and all that, then. You know, go on, bugger off now. If you want to know more about this, then keep watching. Uh, so, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll change the camera. I'll move the camera and uh, I'll show you them close up. And uh, 
as far as comments on woods and materials and all that, I'll, I'll, do you know, I don't really care myself, I just think it works and it works really well, but uh, I'll, I'll, we'll go in for a look. Uh, I've not polished this up or, or done anything with it, this is how I use it or, you know, on a regular basis. So, uh, I can grab this little bit here, grab this little bit here, pull it off, drop my battery out, and this is the the, the main piece of the, the mod. And you can see it's, it's a bit of wood. Um, we've got magnets going on up in here, magnets going on in the bottom. We've got a, a post that runs right through. Little posts going on here. There's your contact. Uh, you can. Uh, the, oh, see, this is the thing. I should really do my homework. But like I said, this is just me waffling with you guys. Uh, some people they've got like uh, you know the fuses, like twenty amp fuses, five amp fuses that you get for cars. Well, some of the guys are running them in here. Uh, but you know, I've just got this big beastie going on, and it just connects like that. Love it, I absolutely love it. This this material here, I mean, you can you, you can get your own material and you can send it to Peter and uh, he will make the mod out of the material you send. Um, but this was, I just asked him to surprise me and just make something that he thought I might like and I absolutely love this. Um, as you can see, he, here's the bottle of juice. Push the bottle, keep an eye on this. And that gets pushed up straight through the hole in the bottom of your rebuildable atomizer and uh, soaks your cotton or your wick. Your battery, uh, I'm just going to pop that in there like so. Drop a bottle down there, and that's it. Simple but elegant design. It's a beautiful thing to hold on to. It's just. It's just wood. I mean, what else can I say? Um, you know, obviously it's mechanical. Uh, it's got a, you, know, you can adjust the throw and the button. You can adjust make you can make many adjustments with this thing. Uh, it's quite ingenious. I can stick my just to show you. Yeah, you know, you've got a hole in the bottom of your atty. Screw that on. And there we go. And that's uh, that's my P-Dib, or my Dibby, as I call it now. And it's lush. Now, that's the mechanical one. This one is a special one. This was a present. Uh, this was sent on to me by Peter. And uh, there's a guy, if you go on ECF and look for a guy called G-Deal. Uh, Golf Delta Echo Alpha Lima uh, G Deal or just search for printed DNA 30 bottom feeder because this whilst it looks very similar has this I'll take this to bits I'll take this off this is my nuppin now this is something else that Peter has had built this is actually well I'll come back to this so this whilst it looks very similar as you can see there, Peter was working uh, with uh, G Deal, and they came up with this. Excuse me, while I just my hands are covered in oil now. This isn't normally tight. It's just because I'm covered in oil. Doink. Get that. This is 3D printed. Uh, that's there's actually a DNA 30 chip or board in there, and you've got your usual up and down. And this is a a, a working prototype, if you like. This is, you know, it's not what you call a, a final retail version or anything like that. Uh, so this is it's a little bit rough around the edges, but it's it works perfectly. There's some more of our electronics going on here. 
and of course we have a little bottle of juice which squonks up through here and we have this isn't a mechanical firing button or it's not a mechanical mod um, so I'm just going to I always forget which way this goes that just slides in there like so take my battery and yes Peter if you're watching this I know which way the battery goes take this and that little push is a DNA 30 squonker ah, absolutely see vaping with this it's just a delight it really is so that's uh, my uh, Dibby uh, with a little bit of regulation going on. Uh, once again, go and search ECF for, uh, you know, G-Deal. Um, I think these boards are actually available. You know, you can actually buy these bits um, yourself. You can buy the printed shell so you can build your own one. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty impressive. Well, when I say it's pretty impressive, it works well. Just remember DNA 30 to always put your battery in the right way. And there we go. Now, this little guy. Now I bought this um, from Peter uh, through the ECF forum. This is the, the Nuppin. This is a, a little bottom fed dripping atomizer or squonking atty. And you can see it's a bit bone dry right now, uh, so I'll screw that on here. See if I push the bottle. That's me, ready to go again. Right, what I'll do is I'm going to pause this and uh, I'll take this build out and uh, and show you it. So, here we go. Um, right, you get a little Allen key with it. A tiny, tiny little Allen key. And you've got two screws. Allen keys there. And uh, they are for, you know, they create a little hole on either side. You know, for getting your wire through. And that's your earths and your positive in the middle. And you can see you've got a little hole going on there. Um, juice obviously gets squonked through the hole there. It comes up in there. And uh, yeah, it's a tiny little chamber. It is tiny. You can get uh, copper and brass and stainless steel. I got all three. And uh, they just slide on and off like that. And you can run this in a single, you know, you've got three holes going on there, so you can run this in single or dual coil configuration. I've been running it in uh, dual because it's just bloody awesome in dual. Uh, as you can see, the chamber is, you know, it's, it's tiny, it's so small. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let's, I'll, I'll go and get a coils, a couple of coils. I'll, I'll probably use 0.3 millimeter cancel. Whatever that is in AWG, I have no idea, but uh, hey, I'm in the UK. Right. Right, I'm going to be all fingers and thumbs here because I'm kind of doing this back to front on camera and it, it's quite a, a small little space this to work in. But you can see that, you know, what you've got, you've got your coil here, I've got it wrapped around there. You know, one wire's got to go through the middle hole and the other wire's going to sit here. Um, basically I want one coil to sit here and one coil to sit around the back. So what you've really got to do is you've got to have a short end uh, because you know this is going to sit in here. Now you can kind of work it out yourself where you want to cut it. Uh, what I kind of do and I'm doing this on camera is I want the coil to sit like that so I'm going to cut the wire almost you know where that little grub screw is there I'm just going to cut it there so that I've got my height and I know how far I've got to cut it 
I'll cut it in the wrong place obviously because that's what you do when you're filming things in camera but you know there we go I've just got a little bit cut there so I'm going to feel, feed this through the hole as always you know putting a little uh, upward spiral you know just twisting it so it's feeding up the way so you know when you put it through the hole goes through and up it doesn't get caught in the lip that way um, so I'm just going to feed that through I'm sorry if this goes out of shot guys and then I'm just going to stick my other leg my other leg down the hole right, I want to try and pull that wire through let's get this a bit tighter in there Right, that's just about doing me fine. Pull this out just so you can see what's going on here. Can you see what I'm what I'm kind of up to? Right, I'm just going to tighten this off just now. If I can find that little Allen key screw thing, because it's so small and I keep losing it. Don't tell me I've lost it again. Ah, for the bejesus. I got them. Right, so I'll just I'll tighten that off in there. I'm just holding that coil in place. And there we go. Pop that out. Right. Um, so as you can see, I've got my coil there, and you know this isn't tightened off, but you know I can put that through there, and I can lift this into position. So that's me kind of got one going on there just now and I'm just going to pull this to the side and get it out of the way. Right, let's pop another one on. Listen, I've kind of got my coils roughly in place where I want them and uh, that'll do me, right at this second in time that'll do me. So I'm just going to tighten off the positive terminal. Yeah, I've, You guys will know if you're working with micro coils, they can be very forgiving. You know, it's just get them roughly in place. You can tidy them up later. So that's me. I'm just going to cut these wires off now. And then just get my coils in position, which is the easy part, or should be. So hopefully you can see, I mean I'll tidy these up, I've still to pulse them and everything, but that's my coils. Listen, I will, you know, I'm not pulling the wool over your eyes, this is a tiny little space to work in, it really is, and you know, because of the size, you know, I'm not a fan of this method, I must admit, uh, but it does work, so for that I can't really fault it. Right, that'll do me, uh, you know, I'll, I'm coming out at uh, 0.9 ohms there. I'm not going to win any awards, but you know. Super. You can see that the height of them, you know, they're above the above this lip here. You know, I just want to make sure that you know, when I put this cap on, that the coils are going to be sitting right in front of the air holes which is the important thing and also keeping them up high means that I can get more wick down and round the well here so I'll go and put some wick in here now I've put some Japanese cotton in here listen the thing about uh, you know this is a tiny little bit of gear um, and you know you do not need a lot of cotton in here because once you push that it just you know, it saturates it, so you've always got cotton. You, your cotton just, you're not dripping, you're just as there, so you don't have to worry about how much this thing holds because at just a little press, and by jingle, she, you know, she's away. Uh, I just want to make sure my cotton's, you know, saturated, uh, my coils nice and freely exposed. And I, I, do you know I'm quite happy with that. Listen, if you go along to the ECF thread, you're going to find lots of different ways to build this. I mean, this is just a bog standard build that 
for me is the least hassle and, and I like to vape with it. It's what works for me. Everybody's got a different build, but uh, you know, if it works, great. Uh, even if the coil doesn't have a name, it doesn't mean it's bad. Um, right, I'm going for a vape. Right, I, I didn't want this turning into a bloody tutorial. Uh, this was just to show how I'm building mine up. And, uh, so I'll just put my... Sweet! Um, the little drip tip on. Uh, I need a drip tip. I'm going to use my... I'll use a wooden one. There we go. That's uh, a wooden breath drip tip, which is just stunning. Uh, so how's that? Uh, I think I'll bump this up to about... I usually only vape about 14 watts, uh, uh, 12 watts, but for some reason I've been enjoying this at like 15 watts. This thing's tiny. I mean, it's absolutely tiny. Um, it, the diameter of it, it's... Well, let's tell you what the diameter is. About 18. Sorry. Yep, just about 18. And height-wise, you're probably looking at just uh, about 20 millimetres. Uh, that might not be exact. Um, there was only 200 of the little drippers made. Um... And you can only buy them through the ECF forum. It's if you want one, you'll have to go along and join the queue. That's the thing with the Dibby as well. If you want one, go and join the queue. The queue's miles long. Uh, if you're in a hurry, you're not going to get one. Um, like I say, there is a community based around it. So, and that's it. Um, I love this setup. I really do. This is perhaps my favourite setup of all time. Um, that is based... Now, I'm not saying, and please don't get me wrong here, I'm not saying that Peter makes the best mods under the sun. This is not me doing that. I'm not a, review, I'm not a reviewer right here right now. I'm just a, a fat bloke in a shed with a camera sharing my love for a certain mod. And uh, that's all I'm talking about. If you watch this, you watch it. If you don't, you don't. Um, it works for me. It, it really does work for me. And, and saying that, you know, Changbox, DNA 30, Wooden Brass. There it is. Oh, the Venturi. I, I thought I'd lost it. Anyway, it's not about this. Um, so th that's it. It's just, I'm not saying rush out and buy one. Not at all. I'm... I'm just saying, you know, go and have a read. See if it's for you. Uh, I mean, I've got other wooden squonkers that I really enjoy uh, just as much. But the community side that goes with this is what really appeals to me. Um, don't have another vape because you'll just bore them, Todd. Uh, that, that's really it from me. I'm just, like I say, this is a Sunday afternoon. It's pissing down with rain. It's blowing a gale. And I just wanted to show off a couple of my toys that I absolutely love. Um, thank you to Peter for sending this DNA 31 on. Uh, highlight of the year for me as far as vaping goes. Um, seriously. Um, remember that, uh, you know, the, the, the guy that did G Deal, um, and, you know, you can go along, he sells, you know, he'll make the innards for you and whatnot. Uh, just go and have a troll through ECF. I'm going to stop now because I'm just fucking rambling. Um, the nipping, the something, the dibby, the, the box, the whatever they're calling it today, it's my thing that I love. To you guys that managed to sit through all this and say, my god, he talks some shite. Thank you for lasting this long. Um, and I'll just say one last time, go along to the ECF forum and have a read if you're interested at all. Um, I, I'll give it this as a user, as a reviewer, right, as a reviewer, 
long long list you got to wait a long time not the cheapest bit of gear under the sun not by a long shot is it worth the money? to me yes it is I bought my Debbie and I bought my Nuppin uh, gladly bought them and I think they're worth every penny uh, as a reviewer there are if you want to get into squonking and whatnot, there are more accessible options out there, like the lake. You know, you could get a hold of one of these a lot quicker. Rebuilt, there's a quicker turnaround for these. Um, and, you know, this is a good mod. Uh, I've reviewed it and, you know, I can kick this. Uh, it's 18650 or 18500 kicked. Um, it vapes, you know, it's a squonker. It's made out of wood. And it's got a little bit of brass, so I love it. Uh, so if you're looking for something now, you know, there's that kind of thing. Uh, if you want to get into squonking, there's, you know, Sunbox, and ah, there's loads. The Italians seem to be the ones that are making all the squonkers. Um, but then you've got American. Uh, right, I'm going. We'll see you later. And, uh, you know, this wasn't a review. Bye-bye. See you later.